Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my winter slash Christmas favorites. So let's go. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I love it so much. Thanksgiving is a close second, but I love Christmas so much. It's such a cozy holiday and I love to bundle up, drinking some hot chocolate, laying on the couch, watching Christmas movies with my friends or family, and I just love it so much. In today's video, I created my own winter favorites tag. If you guys want to do this tag, I will leave the questions down below so you guys can go and do them. Please tweet me or comment the link to your video if you do this tag. Please, I really want to watch it. Um, so let's get into my winter favorites. Number one favorite winter drink. I love gingerbread lattes. Those are my favorite of all time. Um, but I also love hot chocolate or apple cider. Number two is favorite winter accessory. Um, do Mickey ears count? Because if they did, they'd be my favorite. If you don't count Mickey ears as an accessory, I would say boots, little booties. These are my favorite. Um, these are my black ones from Clark's and they are so comfortable. I love them so much. They're very different. I haven't seen a ton of shoes like this and that's why I really, really like them. They're extremely comfortable and I love them. And I also love slippers. Slippers are awesome too. Favorite nail polish, um, anything dark. I love this color from Essie. This is a super dark green color and it is called Stylenomics. And I love to put this on my toes. I love it so much. And I love this, just any type of red. Um, this is the one that I showed in my fall favorites. This is the um, ASP Gel Polish and Reveal Everything Red. Um, as you can see, I love red. So, which is funny that I love dark colors on my nails during the winter because I have light pink. I think I told myself I wanted to have one light color before winter and I'm just going to keep getting dark colors. So, I just like dark. Next is favorite winter clothing item and that would definitely be sweaters. Any type of sweater, any color. Um, I just got this one from Target as you can see it still has the tags on. I just love the cable knit um, and I just like them to be a little bigger and so they're nice and flowy and warm and soft and I just love sweaters. I love them so much. I could wear them forever and I also love cardigans. Number five is favorite winter slash Christmas candle and I have two favorites. I love Spice Gingerbread from Bath and Body Works. This one smells so so good. This one just spicy and it's just it smells so good. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. And my second favorite is winter. This one just smells like Christmas. Um, it smells it just it just smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas trees and spices and apples. It, it smells so good. Number six is favorite Christmas slash winter candy or treat. Um, I love anything with peppermint. I love, love, love peppermint. I couldn't wait to film this video to open these. I love the white peppermint M&Ms. These are so good. I also love the Hershey's Candy Cane Kisses. And I absolutely, absolutely love Boom Chica Pop White Chocolate Peppermint Popcorn. There is nothing on this earth that is more wonderful than this. This stuff is so good. I think I could live off of this. Don't tell my coach, but I ate an entire bag of this the other day. I always stock up on this stuff. I get like two or three bags at one time, and then I go back to the store and do the same thing a couple times. I literally need a case of it. I need a gigantic bag. I need a gigantic case of gigantic bags of these. I love this stuff so much. I could eat this by the truckload. It is so, so good. So you have to try this if you have it. Number seven is favorite Christmas song. Now I have a ton of favorite Christmas songs. I love Someday at Christmas. I love um, All Out for Christmas is You, of course. I'm a classic girl. I love Believe from the Polar Express and I also love when Christmas Comes to Town from the Polar Express. Um, I love I'll Be Home for Christmas and I also love the Christmas song. Next is favorite Christmas movie and I have a ton of favorite Christmas movies. Um, I love Home Alone 1 and 2. I was actually watching the first one tonight. I also like Elf but I love the Polar Express. This is such a classic movie. 
I love it so much. We watch it every year when we decorate the tree. And I love this movie. It's a classic. And I also love the Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen. These are such great movies. I love them so much. The first and the second ones are definitely my favorite. The third one's good, but not as good as the first two. Um, but these movies are classics. If you haven't seen these movies, you have to watch them. They are so good. And also, Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown is a very, very important classic. Gotta love it. Number nine is favorite Christmas tradition. Um, we have several different traditions that I love. Um, one of them, as I just said, we always watch the Polar Express or Merry Christmas Charlie Brown while we're decorating the tree with my family. And we always, always, always drink either sparkling grape juice or sparkling cider while we decorate the tree. It is just a great tradition that we've always done ever since I can remember and I love it so much. Um, on Christmas Eve, we always go to my uncle's house. Um, it hasn't always been that way, but for the past at least four or five years, we've done that. Um, we go to my uncle's house for Christmas Eve and we eat steak and we open presents with the family and it's just so much fun. I love it so much. Number 10 is favorite Christmas decoration. Definitely lights. I love seeing lights on people's houses. That makes me so happy. Um, I've got lights all around my room. I love Christmas trees. Um, Christmas trees are just they're just made me so happy. They're so cozy. Um, and does a fire count as a decoration? I love having fires in the fireplace um, and things like that. I just, I love it. And even if it's just on the TV, I still love it. It makes the room so cozy. I just love Christmas trees and lights and happy things. Number 11 is favorite Christmas or holiday cookie. I love gingerbread cookies. Those are definitely my favorite, but my aunt makes the best snickerdoodles ever so i love gingerbread cookies and my aunt's snickerdoodles no one else's hers number 12 is favorite christmas slash new year's memory i have a ton of memories but i think my most memorable christmases was when we went over to my grandma and grandpa's house with me and my cousins um when i was little and it was just the most fun we always it was always christmas eve um, and so we would go over on Christmas Eve, we'd have a big supper. The parents would always tell the kids to clean up the dishes because we couldn't open presents until the dishes were done. We'd beg my, my mom and dad, my aunt and uncle, and my grandma and grandpa to do them because we just wanted to sort the presents and open them. That was all we wanted to do. We didn't want to clean the dishes because that's no fun. I was really, really little at the time, um, but it was just, I still remember it that the parents would always drag their feet so we would finally go and sort the presents and then we would all sit on the floor and open them as a family and it was just the coolest thing ever. I miss it so much. Um, I miss having holiday get-togethers at my grandparents' house but now we're doing them at my aunt and uncle's house which still is awesome. What is your favorite New Year's memory? Um, we've never really done a ton for New Year's but definitely my most memorable New Year's would be this past one. Um, I spent New Year's Eve at Disney World and I will never do that again, but that was definitely the most memorable. Um, they went into either phase three or four on the park. They reached maximum capacity of 100,000 people inside Magic Kingdom. Me and my family were some of them. Um, no one was able to go in unless if you had dinner reservations or something like that. Um, so you couldn't get in unless if you had a specific reservation that you had to come in. So I was stuck in Magic Kingdom with 100,000 people on New Year's Eve. It was so crowded, so packed. All I wanted to do was go home. We finally made it to see the fireworks because I wanted to leave. I wanted to leave. I wanted to leave. But the fireworks were beautiful. I don't know if it was really worth it, but the fireworks were very, very pretty. Um, and we finally left the park at 12.30, didn't get to our car until 3.30 a.m. It took us three and a half hours to get to our car and then another 30 minutes to drive to our hotel because traffic was so bad. Um, and this was at 3.30 a.m. I was very, very cranky. I was not a happy camper. But I did it, most memorable New Year's of my entire life. Number 13 is favorite Christmas or holiday food. This is not a very Christmassy food, but steak. Um, I know a lot of people do like the ham and turkey and stuff like that. We did that whenever we were still going to my grandma and grandpa's house 
for Christmas Eve supper. But now we always eat steak on Christmas Eve and then we do um, like soup and stuff like that with my dad's side of the family. So definitely steak is my favorite Christmas food, but I also love ham and turkey and the classics. Number 14 is favorite winter activity. I love to lay on the couch with a blanket, hot chocolate, my friend or my family and watch Christmas movies. I love it so much. It's probably my favorite activity, um, but I also love ice skating. I love finding new coffee shops and either trying London fogs or lattes or just fun things. I love exploring new cities and um, just doing adventurous things and I just love it when it snows too. I love sledding and I love snowball fights and I love making snowmen. It's just so much fun. I just love winter and all the fun that it brings. And at number 15, last but not least, what are your favorite Christmas ornaments? Christmas ornaments have been super special in my family. We always get at least one new one every year. Most of the time it's more than one. I have several different ornaments that are super special. Um, I went to see my very first Nutcracker when I was four years old and I got this ornament for my mom and dad after I saw that. This is Marzipan from the Barbie movie Nutcracker. My mom signed me up for dance classes that next spring and I danced for nine years. Um, it was a lot of fun. I do miss it. I miss performing. I don't really miss you know some things about that. There's just something about this ornament that's so special to me. Another ballet related one. Ballet was a big part of my life. I did it for nine years which is over half of my life at the moment. Um, but this one is a point shoe. My mom got this for me when I completed my first performance on point. Being on point is a very, very big thing in ballet. It's just a very, very big step up. So I was 11 years old um, when I had my first performance on point and it was just a big thing. So she got me a point shoe ornament and I have always loved this one so much. Next is this wonderful little mixer. One of my friends got it for me for Christmas one year and I love it so much. Everyone knows that I love to bake. I love it so much um, and I just love this little mixer ornament. It's just the cutest thing ever and it just reminds me of one of the things that I love so much. Baking. And my last favorite, favorite, favorite ornament is this. This little volleyball player is diving for the ball and I love this one so much. I just got it last year. Um, it's just a big thing because volleyball is now a very important part of my life now. Um, I moved on from ballet and now I'm into volleyball and it's been one of the greatest experiences of my life. Very, very challenging, very, very hard, lots of ups and downs. I mean, a lot of ups and downs, but this is one of my favorite ornaments. It is just so cute and I think she got it at this little Christmas store at the beach, I think. Um, but I just love it so much and it just makes me so happy. This is me. This is me. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please feel free to do this video. I would love to watch yours, so like I said, either tweet or comment the link down below. I hope you guys will have an amazing Christmas and an amazing winter and holiday season. And I hope that you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. Vlogmas is so awesome. So please continue to watch those. If you missed any, I will leave them linked down below. And if you want to watch last year's series of Vlogmas videos, I will also leave those linked down below and in the information button up here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Love you guys. Bye. Merry Christmas.